Hi, Kamal Kosho here. We're now going to go over pivots. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you through pivot formations in the live market charts. Okay, so we've got euro against US dollar on the hourly time frame here. So I just want to show you pivots on the chart. And so let's look here. We've got pivots all over the place. We've got a pivot here, right down here. As you can see, that is a pivot low. Why is that a pivot low? It's because we've got a higher low to the left and a higher low to the right. We've got a pivot high here. Why is that a pivot high? Because we've got a lower high to the left and a lower high to the right. Here we have a pivot low because we have a higher low to the right and a higher low to the left. I mean we can carry on doing this but the pivot formation is a very simple formation. We're just looking at the highs and lows and looking at the lows to the left and lows to the right for pivot lows and the highs to the left and the highs to the right for pivot highs. I just want to point out this major high here has many highs all around that are lower. Now pivot highs that have many highs to the right and many highs to the left that are lower than its own high makes it a major pivot and that means it takes a lot of power to break through it. Now for a pivot high that means there's a lot of supply here just like as if it was a resistance line. Now notice the wide range bar when it breaks through that major pivot high. A lot of demand, a lot of power had to be put into the currency in order for price to break through that major pivot high. Had this been a pivot high that just had one lower high to the right and one lower high to the left, it would have been a lot easier to break through that pivot high. So the more lower highs there are to the right and the more lower highs there are to the left, the more major the pivot is and the more power that is required in order to push through and break that pivot high. Of course the same applies to pivot lows. The more higher lows there are to the right and the more higher lows there are to the left, the more power that is required, the more supply that is required to overcome that demand at that level of that major pivot low and for price to break down through it. We will be using pivot formations to manage our trades which we will cover later. But for now, make sure you understand this concept and can identify pivots in your charts as you need to be able to identify them in order to lock in the profit you should be taking from your trades with our strategies. So that's pivots covered. If you go on to the next page, you can continue on with Module 2. This is Kumar Korshal for Trade to Success University and I'll see you in the next video.